I have no idea where I am. I know I'm across the street. I'm gonna close the store. I know I'm across the street from a casino and something called Jed's Jerky. Uh, I'm uh, roughly two hours northwest of uh, Las Vegas. Uh, I slept last night. This was all covered by trucks last night, by the way. Now it's totally empty. There's only two people sleeping in, and I think it's like 8.30 in the morning. What to do? What to do? What to do? I was actually pretty excited that I cleaned up last night because it's quite nice not to have to have to do that first thing in the morning. The only thing I have to put away really is this uh, pot that I cooked the uh, soup in last night, and everything else is pretty good. Um, I'll be quite honest with you. The reason I'm starting the engine and not editing right now is so I can drive across the street and take a leak. All right, here's the uh, setup so far. I have a really gross casino truck stop coffee. No joke, it's it's pretty bad. Uh, uh, just exporting some Lightroom uh, pictures. If you guys haven't checked out my Instagram, please do. Uh, I am working on my photography uh, as well as my videography. That's why I got this big camera to properly document because I can't recapture a moment. So who knows, maybe I'll make a coffee table book or something. Um, of my travels <laughs> and I've been trying to work on the uh, captions as well having the more uh, personal and uh, explanatory if that's even a word is that a word anyways um, yeah I'm just gonna work for a bit and I'll see you guys on the road because I chickened out on staying at the ghost town last night I did notice that there was a ghost town about 10 miles away called Ryolite. It's not probably as spooky and authentic as the one I stopped by yesterday called Bonnie Claire, but since it's so close, I mean, might as well stop by. So the first thing to look for when you get here to Rhyolite is uh, on the left hand side they have a, a free museum and they have this uh, interesting, I don't know, let's call it an art sculpture uh, with some ghosts. This uh, installation is called The Last Supper by, I don't know how to say the name, Zukalski. That is a free museum right there. There's a couple other little sculptures there and there's like a mosaic couch up there and some other stuff. And over here, doesn't that look like Donald Trump? With his like orange hair, his yellow hair and orange thing. Anyways, it is now time to continue on. We're gonna check out the ghost town part of Riley. <laughs> Here's what's left over from the uh, Miners Union Hall. Not really sure what that means, but this is the spot. Across the street from the Union Hall is uh, the old school, which actually to me looks fairly large. I'm not really sure if it was a two-story building or if it just had high ceilings, but that's for a small little town way out here. That seems like a pretty big school. Must have been a lot of kids in there. This looks like an old caboose from the uh, from a train. Wow, look at how epic that is inside. That is gonna make for a wonderful photo. Do you guys know what this is? This looks like a stove, and I would guess it is probably a wood-burning stove. Uh, if anybody knows for sure, feel free to comment down below and educate everyone else. Um, I'm just parked in front of what was the, well, I don't know, it says prospering businesses. It doesn't say exactly what this was. My guess is that it could have been a bank could have been an apartment building, could have been a brothel, could have been a lot of things. And unfortunately, 
there's no sign which says what it is. And also there was no, um, well, I guess there was an information thing down below, but it, it, there's no kind of clear explanation of exactly what this is. But I can tell you it's beautiful, that's for sure. Well, I can tell you with absolute certainty that there is a lot more to see, see here in Rhyolite than uh, Bonnie Claire, which was uh, basically two or three buildings, although way less touristy than this place, uh, it was a lot smaller. Um, so I kind of got the best of both worlds, I suppose, because I got to see a, a more preserved place. Um, Although it was a little vandalized. The other place wasn't vandalized, really. It was uh, it was just really old. There's no graffiti. So, see, that's the thing. It's like the more populated areas will naturally become more destroyed because of you and I. Not really you and not really me, but because of people. Um, and the other places which have a lot less visitors will be a lot more like they used to be, I guess. A lot, a lot better preserved because really no one's out here watching this stuff. You, I mean, literally, you could get away with murder out here, unfortunately. So, uh, on that note, um, I need a shower <laughs> if I'm gonna go meet people. Uh, I'm gonna head towards Vegas, I'm about two hours away. Also guys, I am trying to schedule a uh, meetup in Las Vegas. Um, I haven't had too many meetups at locations and it's been a little hard because it's like I never know where I'm gonna be and I don't really go to a lot of big cities I kind of pass through them so anyways uh, let's see how this works I know a few people have said they are uh, available so yeah it'll be fun it'll be awesome to meet you guys so if I'm passing through let's hang out come to a meetup all right starting to feel the effects of having had nothing but bananas and coffee today also I'm very ripe and uh, still need to take a shower. And uh, I thought I would stop and get everyone at the office some donuts. So I'll get probably like two dozen or so at a place called uh, Pink Box Donuts. Hello. How you doing? Good, how are you? Yeah. Here you guys are like the voodoo donuts of uh, Vegas, huh? But better. But better? But better. Sweet. <laughs> What's your name, by the way? Taylor. Taylor. What's your name? Jax. Jax. <laughs> come say, co come see Taylor know. over at Pink Box Donuts. Yeah. Are we like, where's this Chinatown area? No, Go this is not close. This is Summerlin. S there you go. This is what I would say, a successful trip to the donut shop. All right, next up, I'm gonna try and find a truck stop to take a shower at. Uh, normally, showers at truck stops cost about 12 bucks or so. Um, so I'm having a little trouble with my phone because I think I've been using so much data. <laughs> but I just realized I have GPS here and I wonder if I could find how to find something here. There you go, find. So uh, next stop, take a shower at a truck stop. So this is how this works. Um, you basically put in this little code into this little thing. All of them are different. Let's see if this works. 41141. There we go. This, ladies and gentlemen, is what a truck stop shower consists of. You got your own private toilet, a little shower over here, and you got little things to scrub yourself with and dry yourself off with. So. How about those, uh, potatoes? Also got my little shower bag in action with some goodies inside of it, including a battery powered shaver thingy, trimmer, and soap, and all the goodies. See you in a minute. Now we're back. Except I'm missing some facial hair and uh, a lot of bad smelling body odor. <laughs> but I uh, broke through security, it was a tough fight. <laughs> and uh, I'm going up quite a few floors, caution. I think, I think it worked. Let's see. All right guys, so I know a lot of you ask me how I make money and I wanna introduce you to part of the team who helps me put gas in the gas tank right here. Um, if you guys are an influencer, hit me up and I will give you a special code. Uh, otherwise, mum's the word. 
we're gonna do a little bus tour with my influencer agency. All right, who's ready for school? I got these for you. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, that's so nice! That's so cute. Um, Love that. Boom, we got LEDs. Oh my god! Wow. So we get, we can change the color and stuff. <laughs> So it looks like I'm gonna say goodbye to everybody. I'm gonna continue on the road and I hope that I'm not eating In-N-Out burgers by myself at this meetup. So, <laughs> bye guys. There we go guys, over at the uh, neighborhood In-N-Out. It's uh, definitely one of my favorite burgers in the world. It is absolutely delicious. <laughs> And uh, there's a really good chance that I'll be uh, eating solo. <laughs> but that's all right. At least I tried, huh? All right, time to go get, uh, what am I gonna get? I'm gonna get a double-double with fries. Yeah, animal style. Uh, mustard, extra pickles, that's how I like it. <laughs> all right, got my uh, burger so far. It's a table for one. It looks like it was just me and the uh, pigeons uh, at the meetup, <laughs> which is, again, totally okay. Uh, but yeah, this is, you know, when I originally started this project for those new viewers who don't know, but I was trying to meet up with people all over the place, like viewers and, and people who follow me and stuff like that and subscribe, um, but it's really hard. People are not as available <laughs> as I am because obviously you saw kind of today how I make money, which is uh, kind of over the internet. So uh, I found a place that has like the cheapest gas in town using uh, the, an app called Gas Buddy. I'm probably sure some of you guys use it. I love it because it saves me money. This is not a sponsored <laughs> endorsement, but I, 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 you know, gas is super expensive in this thing. I'm, I'm on empty, I'm guessing at $2.49. It's gonna cost me for, so let's say we get 50, get between 50 and 55 gallons. Uh, $2, that would be 100 bucks plus uh, 25%, two, uh, 125. I'm gonna say it's gonna be, about one, yeah, like 130 on this fill up. So, that's a lot of money. Found a place for uh, 249. Uh, if I was paying cash, it would be 239. Uh, I just find that using a credit card for this stuff, by the way, it's a credit union credit card. Um, I find it just to be a little bit easier to keep track of my expenses, because uh, everything is a write off. And um, so anyways, it cost me $5 more to use a credit card than cash and uh, prepaid 130 bucks. So I was right, right on the money in between 125 and 130. Moment of truth, let's see if I was right. Oh, we, we were pretty close, 49 gallons. Let's see how much we can squeeze out of there because I already prepaid. Whoop. Check this out, I totally had to top this sucker off, but I did it. This thing is completely full of diesel. <laughs> 